Okay, so let's do another video diary of the uh, house build at Yankalilla. It's, uh, she's taking shape. It's actually starting to look like a house. We've got our, um, you know, this is what the, this is what the curb street view is gonna look like. Very nice, I like the little veranda that we've done. Adds a bit of, uh, yeah, adds a bit of something different to the um, fa front face of the house. We, um, we ummed and ahed a bit about where to put this door at the front, the front sliding door, and where to put these veranda posts. Whether to put a front door on or sort of have a front door there in the side and just put a window there or something. But yeah, we sort of decided that this this little alcove here, because the deck's going to come all the way to the retaining wall, so this will be a nice little front deck space, a nice little alcove there where you can either have a little two-seater chair and table or a, somewhere to put your boots and stuff when you come home. So yeah, that's what we went with. I think a lot of these all of these Sarah home designs, like a lot of them don't have a front door, they've just got the slider as the front door. Which, uh, yeah, if they think it works, then we'll go with that. So yeah, I'll take you on a bit of a bit of a tour inside. Looks like the carpenters are finished. Car first fix carpenters have finished their job. Which is excellent. So I'll step up. There's going to be another deck here in this little uh, porch bit. So I think I'm going to run the deck, run the deck from all the way from here around the front porch, a little walkway down the side, probably overhang on top of that retaining wall. I'll figure that out when I have to, and then onto another porch there, so this will probably be our main entrance because the car park's going down there where the bin's going to be so yeah, this here is going to be hard to see anything with all these shadows and sun through the roof but yeah, all fairly well open plan I think I might um, once they get the roof on, which is supposed to be happening this week, the roof's going on, I might do another, another video where I might sort of bring the plans down and we can sort of have a look at the plans and I can show you around the build and the sort of little changes and tweaks we made to their um, original design. I think that's one of the good thing, things about Sarah Holmes is um, it's not from what we figured out, it's not actually an expensive process to make a few little tweaks and changes to their um, out of the catalog designs. Um, if you're clever with your changes, it's not gonna make a massive difference to the price. So I think the main, the main sort of idea that you need to think about if you're building one of these and you wanna make some little adjustments to the layout is um, not making changes to the structure just make changes to internal walls so what I mean by structure is you can see up here well, this is probably a good spot to do it you can see let's have a look here you can see there this roof truss is sitting on top of this stud wall. So that roof truss is sitting on top there, that one's sitting on top there. And then you come down here, and you see that gap? There's another gap there. Put my finger under it. So that means that this here, all the way down this hallway, that's a load-bearing wall. And then you got this one next to it. You can see up here, a bit of a gap, 
that's not a load-bearing wall. And then you come over here. So here's the hallway, load-bearing wall. And then we go back into the laundry. And then here at the back of the laundry, we have another load-bearing wall. So this is a load-bearing stud wall. You can see they've got a good ting to them and then oh, it's got a good ting as well. But yeah, so you've got, basically you've got your squarish external walls, which you can, if you've got the trusses going this way across the short side, it's fairly simple to make the building a little bit longer because you're not changing any of the load bearing walls in that they don't have to move all they have to do is stretch so one of the things they have to do for engineering and structure and all that stuff is they've got to have a load bearing spine the full length of the building so the load bearing spine on this one is this wall here at the back of the hallway bedrooms on this left side and then we've got this one here the back of the laundry so load bearing load bearing and then we crosses over to here this is the load bearing we go down the hallway into the front bedroom this is the master bedroom and then over here we change to this being the load bearing wall so we didn't make any changes to the layout of the building um, acrossways. So we kept all the load bearing walls. The only changes we made, the tweaks we made, were we stretched the bathrooms in the middle and we stretched one of the bedrooms. So we made the whole building a little bit longer. Very simple, um, what do you call it, alteration change to the design words escape me at the moment but yeah so we made the bathrooms a little bit bigger we th thought the uh, especially the ensuite the um, ensuite shower cubicle was just really tight and pokey so we just made that shower cubicle bigger and then we made the main bathroom a little longer to fit a longer bath in so there's going to be a bath shower in here and then we had to add a bit extra to this bedroom so this hallway got a bit longer, the kitchen and living room got a bit longer, which allowed us to have that little indented porch at the front, because that's normally just a full front wall with no indented porch. So yeah, just a little tweak, which um, we think has just made it a whole lot more livable and yeah just a bit more spacious so another thing I think I think one thing on the next build that we do I think I'm gonna change we'll make a standard is high ceilings I am um, I've sort of never been a fan of high ceilings um, I sort of I like the cozy feeling and warm feeling that you get from a low ceiling, like a just 2.4 ceiling. So that's what I've got at home, that's what I'm used to. But yeah, I think on the next one I might try, might try doing a high ceiling. So I think it does, a little bit more expense, but it does add the feeling of spaciousness, which um, in these small sort of buildings is quite important. We'll see how important it is once all the jip rock goes on, but. I think it's probably something that might be worth investing in now that I'm in here, feeling the space a bit. Could do with another 400 up in the 300. Was it 2.7 is high ceilings? 2.7 is high ceilings. So we've got 2.4 now, so another 300 would probably make a little bit of difference. All right, so. I came here the other day with my carpenter and we did our inspection. Pretty happy with um, you know, how it's all put together. The first fix carpenters, they've, um, they, do a, they do a good job 
with given the time constraints. Um, you yeah, know, this is sort of a bit of a mass production build. Um, Sarah Homes, they're very, very competitively priced, economical sort of build. Um, and, you know, it's probably not quite the way that I would build it, do the carpentry, but, you know, I would probably put too much time into it and do go overkill and make everything a lot better than it has to be because uh, I have a bit, bit of trouble with that and sort of drawing the line and saying, well, that's good enough. Um, you know, it's first fixed carpentry, all the, all the joints and nails sticking out and little bugles that are sort of half out. You know, all that stuff's going to be covered up. doesn't really matter. They've followed all the codes. They've got all their strapping and tie downs where it has to be. Everything's all spaced. Everything's all square. Like these guys that built this, they um, these carpenters, they they whack this up in like seven days or something. Seven days from a clean slate, no blocks, no nothing, just some concrete piers along the back, and now look, seven days to build a house. Um, so yeah, given their time constraints, they've done an awesome job. Two young blokes, just two of them. I commend their uh, commend their spirit for you know getting out there. They work for themselves. They work for a contract rate. They get paid by the builder to um, build this house. They get paid by they don't get paid by the hour. They get paid by the finished product. And yeah, I'm really happy. So yeah, all right. That's my little update. Update on the Yanka little build. Hopefully next time we come down have a look, there'll be a uh, roof on. And yeah, I'll bring the plans with me and we'll do a bit of a tour. Alright, that's my little rant. See you next time. Howdy.